First, I want you to meet the co-host of HBO's Sex Inspectors. Please welcome friend of the show, Michael Alviar. Michael, what do you think about the three date rule? I think it depends on what your goals are. I mean, yeah. it, I think it's different for men and women because for women, a date is a sort of an interview to see if they like the guy. Right. You know, for, for men, we're going on a date because we like you. Yes. And women are going on a date to find out if they like you. Yep. True. Yeah, I think and that's, that's so why they tend to have a three date rule and we have a no date rule. <laughs> uh, I agree. I'm a virgin and it's really. Oh, yeah. 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 Michael, what do you think? Well, the first thing is I'm wondering why so many people clap because she was a virgin. Yeah. yeah. She's I virtuous. Thought, uh -huh. It's a choice. I don't think. Anyway. I, it's yeah, it, 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 it is a choice, but I don't think that it's an accomplishment. Uh, as opposed to women who You're have had sex. You're a 23 year old right. girl. That's an accomplishment. Yeah, pretty good accomplishment. I just think it's fascinating that people yeah. clap. Well, because a lot of people that clap wouldn't so, so do it, it can't, couldn't even hold right. out, you know. Does that mean, <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Does that, mean that, that women who have had sex don't deserve applause? Thank you. Oh, they deserve right. applause. They do. <laughs> Give us a hand is sex and relationship expert from HBO Sex Inspectors, Michael Alviar. Michael. Okay, culprit number one is this bedspread. <laughs> oh my gosh, so the flower bedspread is wrong. Absolutely. Does this oh spell sexy? This is cute. Okay, cute get up. It's not sexy. The other thing is never, ever have framed pictures of people unless they're of you and your lover. Okay? okay? Especially don't have pictures of your father, because if he says, who's your daddy, you don't want to yeah. confuse, okay? And okay. what about food? Because I like, I eat all the time uh. in bed, like potato chips and cookies. Oh, and... I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> is that like a bad thing? This is a very bad thing. Who wants to stare at a half-eaten sandwich with chips? Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> sexy. <laughs> so no food, unless it's a good kind of food. Right. Uh if you want to turn her on, you got to turn this off. This is the worst three-way that will ever happen in a bedroom, okay? Is TV off? Absolutely, because otherwise, you're sharing your attention between an inanimate object and the love of your life. So many times when couples would tell us, for instance, th this guy who said, I'm a tiger in bed, and yet every time we watched the camera, he was flat on his back. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, what what people say, and what people say, and what people do are two completely different things, and the camera can catch that. We talk also, about a lot. It's really important that you be active in bed because you don't want to be an object to be looked at. You want to yes. be a vehicle for pleasure. Yes. So yeah. that means the more active you are, the more you're going to get away from from your own mindset. Well, you're saying you're you're. What do, we, what do you mean active in bed? You're like, like moving around? Get, around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get on top, race to the bottom, fake right, go left, move. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> score. Score. Uh, But he is part of something I call the Greg Barron Show Extra Super Team. Uh, Do I get a cape? Yes, you will get it. <laughs> anything you want, my friend. Uh, but you're one of the people that we, we go to because we just, we love your point of view. The first myth, techniques improve your sex life. Is yes. that a myth? Absolutely, because techniques make you a good technician. It's passion that makes great sex. Sex is an exchange of energy, okay? Techniques, it's just, a, it's a small part of it. I mean, you do want to be good, right. but I'd rather be passionate than good. Right. Because good, you can improve. Passion is a little bit harder. Yeah, you just don't want to be skilled. You don't want to be a skilled <laughs> laborer. Yeah.